Hey, what's going on guys? Sean or Mustang09 bringing you a new video and today we're doing a truck mod. And I know what you're thinking. You're in the garage. The truck doesn't fit in the garage. How are we modifying the truck? It's like a mod for the truck-ish. So if you're anything like me, you like to be outside and you like to fish, uh, I like to bass fish in ponds. And in the line of work I'm in, I do construction. I work in a lot of cool neighborhoods. I drive by a lot of these little bodies of water and I always would love to go over there and just wet a line and see if I could catch a bass. And so today we're creating the ultimate fishing setup for your truck. Just a, a quick little bass rod, something that can break down, hide behind the seat and stay out of the way, but still stay uh, in, like, in a good shape and be protected. And something that's easy just to take with you and you know, you have what you need to go bass fishing at a pond. So nothing too crazy, not a lot of tackle. And the cool part is, is I spent under $150 for everything you're gonna see in this video. The rod, the reel, the line, all the lures, and the little tackle box I bought, all under 150 bucks. So it's a really good deal. I'm excited to show you. From now, we're gonna jump over to the GoPro and we'll go into what I bought. First things first, if you're going fishing, you need a good rod. And for any truck, this one will work. It's a two piece, it's a six and a half foot, it's a medium heavy with the fast action on it. And it goes together super simple as any two piece rod does. This is perfect for the bait caster that I picked up. It's the Bass Pro Shops. It's their graphite series. It's a good looking rod. It's a nice blue color and it's gonna go perfect with the reel that I picked up. And that reel is the Bass Pro. It's their Pro Qualifier 2. This is one that was a limited edition that came out for like some series that they had. I'm not, I'm not like the biggest, like I don't watch pro bass fishing. I watch a lot of YouTube bass fishing. Um, so I don't stay with the, the tournament or anything. I have been watching some of the MLF and uh, some of the guys from the Guggen video that are on there. Some of those pros, Jacob Wheeler and the McDonald guy. Those guys are super funny and uh, it's good. It's fun to watch them fish. So. This is what the reel looks like. It's super slick. It's silver with the blue accents and the blue accents are gonna tie right into the rod, no problem. This is a six, eight to one gear ratio. It's seven bearing and it does have the dual brakes on it. It's a bait caster. And if you, I found this out, it's super cool. When you buy a reel, a Bass Pro branded reel, they, they'll, line, they'll put line on it for free for life. If you ever run out, just take it back and they'll put it on. This is just mono. I, I would like to see maybe Maybe do some braid in the future. Maybe that'll hold up a little better to some of these ponds with all the rough stuff around it, especially if you're gonna be throwing anything into something heavy, so. But this will be great on the rod. Uh, it's a great rod and reel setup, and I'm excited to, to try it out today. Now, if we're gonna talk about uh, bait and the tackle we're gonna be using, it's all artificial stuff, no live bait here. Uh, I did buy this little tackle box here. This will go perfect underneath the seat or behind the seat with the rod and reel setup, and it should house most of the baits, if not all of them, just fine. So starting off, uh, the ponds, I fish ponds a lot. They're not super deep, so I can't have all this deep diving equipment. I need things that are smaller. So something like this chatterbait will be great. This is by Z-Man. Uh, it was pretty inexpensive. And I should say, uh, the, let me go back real quick. The rod was 40 bucks, the reel was on sale, they're normally 100, it was on sale for $50, so I got 98 bucks tax title and license out the door with the rod and reel setup. And then all the bait you're about to see, I rang in at $48 at Academy, So, and that's with the little tackle box. So, I came out pretty strong, man, 100, like 100, and, just under 150 bucks, uh, super good deal. So with the baits, uh, I've got the, the chatter bait, spinning bait, I've got this little shallow diving. It's a little square bill. It's in the sexy shad color. And you'll notice I, I bought a lot of this H2O branded stuff because it was more inexpensive than other things. And they looked really good compared to the higher end baits that they had. So uh, we've got uh, this, this one here. Like I said, the square bill, the shallow diving. Then I've got a jerk bait. Those are always good. They're solid in ponds. Fish really attack them. Uh, I have, I picked up a couple of these Divine Six, the Six Sense Divine Hybrid Jigs. These things looked really good, they look juicy. We've got like a green color and then more of a blue color here. And with that, I picked up some Guggen baits. Uh, these guys, if you don't know who the Guggen Squad is, they're, they started on YouTube. Uh, There's a couple of guys they got together and made the Guggen Squad. Started making baits uh, and a couple of the guys I've watched for years and years on YouTube. I've been a fan of them for, 
I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years ever since I've been watching YouTube. Uh, they've just been making pond bass fishing videos and I've quite enjoyed them. So to support another YouTuber and they're making baits and they're in Academy, which is super sick, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, man. So it's always good to support those people out there creating content. Um, on top of that, we have some tungsten weights made by the H2O Express brand. So these were a lot cheaper than the other competitors that were making tungsten weights. We have some Gamagatsu 3-0 extra wide gap hooks. Uh, these will be great when you pair them up with any stick bait. I like the Gary Yamamoto's. Uh, this is like a little baby bass color and these do really well in the ponds. And these colors can all switch throughout the season. So when spring comes around and then fall comes back around, you can change the color of your baits in your tackle box. So these won't have to stay there all the time. We can just rotate, but it'll be nice to have them all inside of here so that when it's in the truck, we have a variety and option to decide what we're gonna choke throw, shoot out there so that the fish can have something to bite onto. So I'm excited about this. I've always wanted a truck set up. So with that said, I'm gonna do a time lapse here and throw all the baits that I can in here. And we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna do some fishing. I don't know why I did it this way because I'm left-handed real. We're gonna do some fishing. So I'm excited. Let's get the baits in there, get the rod set up and we'll hit the road. Alrighty guys, I have my, my little tackle box all set up here. It was a little tough to shut with the soft plastics in there, so I'm thinking this may be something that just sits in the truck until I'm ready to use it and I can just slide it in my back pocket whenever I go fishing. But for now, they're all in there. It's easy for me to carry to the truck. I've got my rod and reel set up right here, so we just gotta put the line through the eye holes and then we're good to go. So right now, we're gonna go test this setup out at the ponds. I gotta go pick up my little brother and we're gonna catch some bass. We've got the rod and reel here and thanks to the Build Right Industries, the little rear seat release strap back here, we can easily fold this down. But back here is where our rod and reel will reside when we're not fishing so that I have a fishing setup no matter where I go. Stick this back in here. See here. And then the rear seat could just fold up and there you go. Our baits can all just reside. Very simple behind the rear seat release and they're tucked away. Super cool. What really sparked my idea for this was the Built Right Industries, this seat release back here. So shout out to those guys. There's a link in the description if you want to purchase one of those. It's an Amazon link and it helps your boy out when you click on that. So thanks for doing that. We got to go pick up my little brother. Let's go. It's a little windy out here, huh Hunter? Yeah, Say hi to the channel. A little bit. Hunter's feeding it through the eyelets right now. We're going to tie up this jig here. We're going to put a little Guggen Baits Bandito Bug trailer on there and see if we can't catch them. We're out at uh, this little neighborhood pond. There's one over there, one over here. We're going to start with this one. So do you want to go jig first? Jig first. Hunter is uh, my little brother and he is like a pro fisherman. <laughs> he knows all his stuff when it comes to the bait casters, and this is only my second one. So he's gonna help me set up the brakes on it and stuff. It's the first time I've had this little dual brake setup. So Hunter's the man with the plan. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's super windy. I'm hoping the dead cat will cut down on some of the wind, but the cool thing about Guggen baits is they put this plastic in there so that it keeps your bait shape and it keeps them organized. So that's super nice, but that's what made it tough to shut the lid. But here's all the baits in the toolbox, tackle box. Yeah, your drag's good, spool tension, it's good. You can see the bait falling just do it again. pretty slow. The bait's falling pretty slow. So let's do it. This camera is quite massive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro here, throw it on my chest and we're gonna go fishing. I can't wait. Sun's going down. We've probably got 45 minutes roughly to, uh, to slay some fish. So here we go. Well guys, I made the biggest rookie mistake ever. No memory card for the GoPro. So we're bringing the big guy. Tackle box check. New combo check. Awesome pond. Here we go. Sean's on a fish. Yep. 
We're like on one of the last cast boys. There right he here. is. You can see him swimming. We are just about to head out. Let's get him on in here. Yeah. Ooh, buddy. Some good sized fish. Yeah, check him out. Using the new Guggen bait as a trailer. Yeah, he's chunky. Yeah, he's got a belly on him. That's nice. Look, here we go. Oh, he was barely hooked too, boys. Good color. Got that Guggen bait. What are they, a bandito bug? Yeah, that's a good looking fish, man. Here, drop your rod and hold the tail up for us. There we go. Yeah. What do you think he is? 14 or? Oh, he's over a pound for sure. Probably. So uh, how many inches do you think? Oh, yeah, 14. 14 inch? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a good pound and a half. Chunky fish. Cool. Yeah. We're going to get some pictures, put him back. All right. Alrighty, guys. We're putting him back. We got our pictures. We'll just give him a good little release here. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Go. There you go. Go that way. Water's in the way. Go oh, that way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he ate the leaf. I've never had a fish swim back to me before. You like me, don't you? You wanted a kiss bite. There we go. He's out of here. Hey, that was cool. We caught one. It's super dark. Look, the sun was over there. Now it's gone. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is. So, there we go. Uh, we're gonna have to resume this one at another day so that we can catch more fish so we can show you guys. Thanks for watching.